New Year is almost here, which means you might be thinking about New Year's resolutions. Yeah, many hope to get more active, right? And pickleball is increasing in popularity. It gives an opportunity for that. Local 5's Larissa Miller shares how pickleball players can stay healthy. Larissa, I am especially injury prone, so <laughs> give us some help. Yeah, good morning, guys. Though its origins date back to the 1960s, pickleball has become more popular in the last decade. With players of all ages, doctors want to make sure people stay healthy and avoid foot and ankle injuries so they can maintain an active lifestyle well into old age. On any typical Monday morning, venture into the Valley Community Center, and you're likely to find well over 50 pickleball competitors ready to hit the court. It's, it's a simple game to play after you understand the rules. It can be very, very social, or it can be very, very competitive. It appeals to all ages from 8 to over 80. Chuck Gallagher, president of the Des Moines Metro Pickleball Club, founded in 2017, says the sport's popularity is clear. A lot of folks out here for the exercise. Uh, they're out here for the camaraderie with their friends. You'll see a lot of groups sitting around chatting. And with increased popularity comes more opportunity for injury. Dr. Ashley Dykus of Des Moines University's Foot and Ankle Clinic says it's imperative people warm up prior to playing pickleball by doing things like walking or stretching. Those types of things are really important because the more that you can warm up and be kind of ready to go, we think the decreased chance that you'll sustain an injury. She says while doctors have seen more foot and ankle injuries from pickleball in the past few years, the benefits of the sport, especially for older adults, are great. People start it and they absolutely love it. Um, um, and we want to just make sure that people can do the things they love and do it pain free and for as long as possible. Gallagher says the risk of injury and illness isn't exclusive to pickleball. What would these people be experiencing if they were not playing pickleball and being active? Very likely they could be sitting at home in a chair watching something and incurring other kinds of, of health issues. Above all, Gallagher says getting the chance to maintain activity later into life is significant. I think it's very important for folks in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s to continue an active lifestyle as long as they can. And a lot of the folks here are here for that reason. They want the exercise as well as the social contact. This makes me think of when you go out, you know, you play for the first time. You're like, I had such a great time, but I sprained my ankle and now I can't do anything. So what are some of the most common injuries doctors see when it comes to pickleball? Yeah, Dr. Dykus says Achilles tendon injuries as well as heel pain and plantar fasciitis are some of those most common ones that she sees. She also says in addition to warming up, making sure you are wearing proper footwear greatly decreases chance of injury. Samantha. All right, I'm ready to get out there and play. Thank you, Larissa.